Guys, it's finally, finally here. I got the cookware. I'm so freaking excited. Come on over to, let's just call it the foodie station. And we're gonna go over this brand new set of pots and pans, Ninja Foodie Never Stick Cookware. Coming up. This is Cooking with CJ, the show about cooking, drinking, barbecue, and all the other stuff that goes along with it. I am not a chef, I am not a bartender, I am not a pit master but I play all three on TV. I'm gonna show you how to make quick, easy, tasty recipes and have a little bit of fun along the way. So let's get this party started. What's up guys, welcome to Cooking with CJ. I'm CJ, you know the drill. If you're a returning subscriber, you know I love you. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that red subscribe button, that bell next to it so you get alerts on all what we're doing here. You're gonna wanna get more alerts now because I got it. Guys, this is it right here, baby. This is the, this is it. Guys, I am pumped up. I've been waiting for Ninja to send me these. They finally did. We are gonna do the first look, little review. I wanna kinda go over some things with these. So this is not gonna be the in-depth review, but I'm gonna go over some stuff. Don't worry, I'm gonna go over some stuff and get you prepared to get you a set of one of these bad boys right here. Guys, this is pretty freaking cool. I have the premium set right here. This comes with 10 pieces, has the eight inch frying pan, the 10 inch frying pan, the one and a half quart saucer with lid, the two and a half quart saucer with lid, the three quart saute pan with a lid. Then of course we got the six and a half quart stock pot with lid also, all right? This right here is everything you need for your kitchen and more, but dang, this is fancy. Guys, I gotta tell you, I have some good cookware. I've spent some money on some cookware. I use it in my channel. But this right here, this is the truth right here. These pans, this never stick, right? Guys, I, I proved it. Like I was a little skeptical. I've been watching the infomercials, all that jazz. I cooked some eggs, straight up scrambled eggs in the little eight inch frying pan. No butter, no oil nothing just a little medium heat dumped them in made some scrambled eggs a little salt and pepper can't go wrong with that guys nothing stick use a paper towel wiped it out you're good to go i'm just telling you they call this never stick you know it's this isn't non-stick this is never stick all right what i love about these you can treat them like cast iron so i did a couple nice strip steaks did them butter basted, a little rosemary, a little garlic. I actually, before I even started that, I cut some of that beef fat off of the, off them steaks. There was a pretty big chunk of fat on there. I put it in the pan and rendered that fat down a little bit. So I cooked the steak in its own fat to get it started, to get that nice sear on there. And the other thing you'll notice is I'm using metal tongs on these on the on the pan these pans are metal utensil safe okay that doesn't mean grab your knife and cut your steak on top of them but you can use your metal spatula you can use your metal tongs these are all seriously well designed the handles are stainless steel they're riveted into the pans they stay cool that's important not like with the cast iron when you can burn your hand just grabbing onto that handle if it's been on the fire right best part is i took the steaks right off the stove and then put them straight into that oven had the oven preheated already to 400 the the guide you know the the cooking instructions that you get with your set of pots and pans here says that you cannot take it above 500 but Honestly, I'm not going to put these in my oven at 500 degrees. The 400 was perfect. The steaks turned out perfect. Medium rare, just the way I like it. Got that rosemary, that garlic, all that butter. Can't, can't beat it right there. Then, of course, you know I had to use the saucepan. I wanted to make some pasta with my steak, so I just got it a rapid boil real quick on high temp. A little salt, throw your pasta in. Eight minutes, nine minutes, al dente, you're good to go. All right, so these, these pans are also ready for the electric stove, for your gas stove, and even if you have the induction cooktops, these work with them, all right? They're heavy duty, but they're not heavy, all right? I can, I can weigh this around, no problem, all right? Of course, you know, I'm not saying a big, strong guy, but you know, I might be a big, strong guy, but they're really, they're really lightweight, but sturdy, all right all of these are lead free really really solid solid pots and pans all right i love that i can use my metal utensils with them you know sometimes you're just looking for some you know tongs to use or whatever you just grab whatever you can find you don't have time to look for the plastic tips this works all right 
as far as cleaning these bad boys go, they're dishwasher safe, but you guys know me, I love washing them in the sink. I love getting my hands under that hot water and make sure they're really clean, no residue, nothing like that. So I will always wash these in the sink with soap and water, but they're dishwasher safe, hook it up. One of their claims to fame is that these never sticks, chips, or flakes. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to put that to the test. Guys, this is just the first of a quick video to go over these. Fine folks at Ninja were good enough to send me these. I'm gonna be a good ambassador for them and really put them through their paces, all right? Guys, give these a shot. So far, I've cooked a few things with these. I just got this this weekend, but um, I, I, these are gonna replace the pots and pans I have already, all right? We're already getting rid of them, giving away to a family member. Uh, that's how much confidence I have in these bad boys right here, okay? All right, y'all, there isn't much more to this one. Guys, uh, if you have any questions that I did not cover, uh, make sure you put them in the comments down below because I'm gonna do a full comprehensive review of all of these after I get a few more cooks under my belt with them. But I wanted to make sure I got this out to you guys. It's becoming the holiday season. These are gonna make a great gift for people out there. And speaking of that, if you guys wanna get yourself a set of these pans, I will put a link down below to them. It's my affiliate link. I get a little piece of it, but you know, it's not much, but every little bit helps, right? Guys, seriously, this is a great gift for the holidays. Usually I do a video every year with my top 10 gifts that you should give for you know, cooking your life. I am not gonna do that this year. Guys, everybody knows Ninja Foodie all the way. All right, whether you get the Ninja Foodie pressure cooker, the Ninja Foodie grill, I got the blender, now I got the pots and pans. I am so happy about this, guys. I have worn out my Ninja Foodie grills, all right? Not saying I'm not making recipes still with them, but guys, I put the effort into those bad boys. Now I'm glad to be back on the stove using these awesome Foodie Never Stick pans, all right? That's it for this one, guys. Keep me posted. What do you think? What do you wanna see me cook? What are your questions about these bad boys right here? Get back to me on this. Put the put the comments down below, all right? If you're not already subscribed, make sure you do because, like I said, a lot more cooks with these bad boys are coming. You don't want to miss out. Hit that bell next to it. Get all the alerts. Hit the thumbs up if you can. Share it if you want in your, your social media, your groups. Anybody who wants to get you know a set of these pans, share it with them. Guys, thank you all for stopping by. Uh, thanks for looking at some pots with CJ. <laughs> That's it, guys. Take care.